Halo Infinite hits new population peak, operation passes leaked, and more classic customization coming. If you want to know more, make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Here's what's coming for the combined arms operations pass. As you can see, the first stuff really is just kind of like emblems and backdrops and XP boosts. You get some armor customization. You do earn an entire armor kit throughout this pass as well. We do see the coating here on top of that. But all the good stuff is really kind of saved towards the end with another emblem. Then you come in with all the different types of armor customization, which looks really nice. Essentially, we're earning that customization you see within the promotional material. Here's the operation pass for Winter Contingency 3 starting on December 19th. Now, it's not all filled out. There are some questionable parts that we don't really know what's going to be coming in with this pass, as you can see right with this image. But there are going to be some great things to earn. Very similar to the combined arms a lot of the armor customization comes at the end now if you guys missed a couple videos on the channel which shame on you by the way operations are meant to replace events and operations are going to run from four to six weeks as stated by 343 and they could be completely free for you to grind through to earn the 20 tiers but there will be an extra paid premium option along with it where if you drop 500 credits you get the paid exclusive item that comes with the operation pass we don't know what that is quite yet but if you buy into these operations operation passes they never expire where if you play for free then once the event goes away so does the pass permanently by the way did you know that 77 percent of the people who are watching this channel are not subscribed so you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with halo you know what to do then keep in mind with the combined arms event we are getting the halo 3 refueled playlist which brings back classic maps of guardian construct blackout the pit high ground isolation as well as narrows and a completely new map forged by Arthur Bloodshot, friend of the channel here, by the way, called Critical Dew Point. There are gonna be some really interesting Easter eggs as he told me about this map, so keep an eye out for it. I'm also assuming we'll see Firefight come in eventually, probably tied to these operations. Most likely if we're getting Halo 3 refueled with the launch of combined arms, most likely means with winter contingency is probably when we will see firefight come in and during december so even though there is a wait for firefight to come in you can still enjoy some pve content that the community has created while streaming the event here on my channel which we do stream quite often make sure you subscribe if you guys want to catch those live streams a uh, unique and his community created this amazing new mombasa themed map which is pvpve style map where you have the campaign ai that was recently added in as well as you can play the current btb style modes as well i play this on stream the great thing about this is you can just put this into the custom game browser and people will just join the game which is fantastic and on top of that you do earn xp when it comes to your progression of the battle pass or how about some ai boss battles yeah that's another thing you can do within Halo Infinite's Forge mode right now. Just give the Forgers some time and they'll make some amazing content. How about a little escort mission with a bunch of grunts? Well, they're actually programmed to follow you around. It'd be fun to kind of have like a AI boss battle kind of thing where you have to keep your crew alive and once the last one dies and the mission ends or something. I don't know, something interesting to see if it's possible. Now, it seems like the Unreal Engine leaks might be actually true. A new job posting for 343 says an audio director that calls for Unreal Engine experience. That's all it really says. It doesn't really call much into exactly how much knowledge or years of experience with the Unreal Engine that's needed for this job posting. It could be generalized. It could just be something that maybe the Slip Space Engine works very similar to Unreal. We don't know, but again, it kind of leads more into that narrative that Halo is switching over to the Unreal Engine. If you guys remember back in January of 2023, Jason Schreier, a very credible source within leaking information within the gaming industry, did state that Halo is looking to switch over to the Unreal Engine. Whenever Jason says anything, it's most likely credible. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens with the future of Halo. Again, we'll keep an eye on it. And if anything does change, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. Now we have some more classic customization coming into Halo Infinite. But you guys might not be happy how it's coming in. We do know about the Mark V Halo Combat Evolved armor set that is coming to Halo Infinite. It's going to be part of the shop. Yeah, that sucks, but I understand it. We have some more stuff and it's going to be part of the shop as well with the Halo Reach Pilot Helmet. If anyone's a fan of that one, this image was data mined right here and you only ever see this type of image. That's part of like the bundles that we see when it comes to the store. So we're probably gonna see this kind of customization tied to the store, which it's kind of a bummer in my opinion, as you know, we were able to unlock this by just gameplay back in Halo Reach. Of course, this was 13 years ago, but it is kind of a thing where like, man, we were able to have this as part of the game and now it's divided up. Obviously different game, different decade, yada, 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 game, things change. 
but it still just kind of sucks. In some happier news, Halo Infinite has become the sixth best selling game on Steam, jumping up from the 84th place. So people are jumping in and playing the game, which is fantastic to see. This season five update has been fantastic with so much more greatness coming along the way, which then I'm sure begs the question, how many people are actually playing Halo Infinite? Well, we have a pretty decent idea. If we look at the infamous Steam chart for Halo Infinite, we saw that on release day, over 18,000 people were playing Halo Infinite, which you can see it's tripling the peak concurrent count from last month, which is a fantastic sign. The better sign about this is that this is the best peak we've had all year and the highest peak of player count we've had since May of 2022. Now you're saying, well, that's just Steam. What about the entire population? But we actually have a decent idea. Halo.API has been able to provide some information for Xbox and PC populations. And at the time of pulling his information, showing over 46,000 people were playing Halo Infinite, at least had it open with 35,000 active fire teams. Effectively, 54% were in matchmaking, 30% were in idle. A huge increase on population of custom games into 14%, only 2% of forgers, and basically no one playing the campaign. Highest population playlist, Ranked Arena, again, shows the top played playlist, with Forbidden and Prism being number two, and the lowest population is usually is free-for-all match, which free-for-all Slayer ended up being the lowest. This is fantastic to see that people are jumping back in to play Halo Infinite. It, we might be back. Now I'll leave you guys with a leaked map we have not seen yet, which most likely will be coming into the game and an interesting Easter egg on the new map Forbidden. Well, the multiplayer level designers shared their early build of Forbidden for Blocktober, which is a developer thing showcasing their early concepts of a lot of maps. Now, when I was looking at this, this looked very familiar to me, which is like, what am I thinking of? What am I remembering this from? Oh yeah, this map was leaked a long, long, long time ago. Back in January 13th of 2022, this image was shared showcasing Halo Infinite leaked maps. When I first saw this, I'm like, yeah, these look like just whatever. Like, I can't tell if this is real, but now we're looking at this. This is Crystal Caves. This is Argyle. This is Forbidden. This map's also in the game, but we haven't seen this one yet. This one's called Beltway, and we'll see when it actually comes in, how it will come in. It looks to be very similar to Elongation or Longest that we had back in the classic Halo days. But we'll see when this does come in. Again, this was leaked over a year ago now at this point, so things definitely are subject to change. It could have just been dropped completely, but this is just interesting to see that all those other maps did get put into the game. We'll see if this Beltway map makes it in. And if it does, or if seeing more information about it, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. Here's a fun little Easter egg on the map Forbidden here, which is very interesting. I don't know how they found out this or how we're able to break into it, but you can see using the Spartan scan, they're able to break their way into the map in some capacity to find the golden sandwich that's in this game, which is just absolutely hilarious that this is something and you can actually pick it up which i don't remember that being an actual thing so this is a fun little easter egg within the map forbidden thank you all for watching and catch you on the next one peace out